Hola, this is Delilah from Spanish in Atlanta. Welcome back. We're going to review the Spanish vowels today, but most importantly, we're going to work on melting two independent vowels and merging them together. This is essential for Spanish. And actually, if you think about it, this is something we do with every language. We do this, this in English, we do this in every language. So we're gonna work on melting the vowels today. We're also gonna have a couple of great and fun ear training exercises. These ear training exercises will help develop your ability to hear the Spanish vowel and know which one of these equals that sound. So that's a really cool thing to do and a very important thing as well. Let's get started. Ah. E, I, O, U. One more time. Say it with me. <laughs> A, E, I, O, U. These are the five independent sounds, just like the five strings of a Spanish guitar. Or a guitar, period. It doesn't have to be Spanish guitar. <laughs> so keep in mind that you need to know these sounds. Now we're going to melt them together. But before we do, let's do a fun ear training exercise. You're going to need a blank sheet of paper or a notebook. Have fun. Get a notebook or blank sheet of paper. I'm going to read Spanish vowels your way. Your job will be to write down the vowel you think I'm reading out loud. This is a great ear training exercise that will help you associate the sound that you're hearing with the vowel it equals. Write down your answers and at the end of this exercise you'll be able to check your work. I will read each vowel two times. Write down your answer only once. You can pause this video and see it as many times as you want to redo your this exercise. Enjoy. E E A A I I A A O O I E, U, U, O, O, E, E, I, I, O, O, A, A, I. E, A, A, E, E, O, O. Welcome back. I'm sure you did a great job. You can watch this video as many times as you need to redo the exercises. Each time you do this exercise, you're going to get better and better. It's a guarantee. We're going to learn to now melt the vowels together. Okay, so now we have little couples here of vowels. Pretend that vowels are just like people. People, they don't like to be alone. Vowels don't like to be alone either. You're going to see that a lot of Spanish words have not only one or two vowels, but they're, they're going to have lots of different vowels and combinations of vowels. So that's why it's so important for you to feel comfortable merging these two sounds together. So here we go. First, let's do it separately. We have A, E. A, E. When you connect them together, you put a safety pin between them, you get A, E. A, E. Anytime you get stuck, remember, go back to basics. 
sound out each independent vowel and that's how you'll get the right answer. So just take your time. Don't do this too fast because your brain is going to try to text correct or you. <laughs> this is something that happens when the brain tries to develop shortcuts. You have all these shortcuts in your native language, whatever it may be. So those shortcuts are going to interfere with this new material. Be patient and just go back and sound out everything bite size. Just bite size it. Let's do that one again. We have I. Next one we have O E. O E. Together we have O E. So you're not going to put any pauses or any wall in between the two vowels. It's all connected, one sound. E E all together. If you get stuck, just do E E E E and then practice sliding into that second sound. Uwe. Uwe. Last one is Oa. Oa. You're creating phonetic s'mores. <laughs> Vowels are very delicious. They are equivalent to chocolate or marshmallow, and the consonants are kind of like the graham cracker here. So when you put the cookie with the chocolate and the marshmallow, that's how you get your s'mores, right? So you're creating delicious sounds, and we start with vowels. That's how you get that, that uh, gooey yumminess. <laughs> now we're going to do an ear training exercise to, for you to do this on your own. I will have an answer key at the end of the exercise. I know you can do it. You're going to need your notebook or a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to read two Spanish vowels and your job is to write down the two vowels that you think I am reading out loud. You will be able to check your answers at the end of this exercise because I'll have an answer key. I'm going to read each vowel combination two times. Just write down your answer once. Good luck! I, I, Ia, Ia, E, E, I, I, E, I, E, O, I, O, I. Uwe, uwe, io, io, o, u, o, u, ao, ao, uwa, uwa. I, 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 E, I, E, U, E, U, E, O, I, A, O, I, A. Fabuloso. <laughs> I'm sure you did a great job. If you got the last one, you're super awesome. I didn't tell you anything in the beginning, but the last one was a triple. So if you had a hard time, it's because it was a triple, not a double. Now, don't get upset now. I couldn't ruin the surprise now, could I? <laughs> if you didn't get the last one, you're still awesome. Great job. Hey, welcome back. I'm sure you did a great job. I'm going to have a different video later on, probably in the next two weeks, on inflection. The Spanish language, or any language, it consists of melody and rhythm. So this here is uh, equivalent to the melody, and the rhythm will be the inflection. So Spanish uh, reading and pronunciation is very simple once you know what your control system is. 
we're going to have that inflection lesson later on. This is Delilah from Spanish in Atlanta. I hope you had a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Adios.